So while I'm still not sure why anyone has any interest at all in seeing my coffee mugs, because I mean I show them every video, uh, if you guys feel like there's maybe one or two you haven't seen, I guess this is the video for you, and you guys seem to really want this, so uh, here we go. So after I lost a lot of weight, I quit drinking beer for the most part, and my wife said, great, no more beer glasses. I said, okay, how about coffee mugs? So here we go, guys, beginning with this first one here. This is one of the first you're going to see on here from Creatively Crafts. This is for The Witcher. She makes these by hand. It's really, really great stuff. You've probably seen me uh, with this one in the video uh, quite a few times. I love to, to put that placement in there anytime I can, but a beautiful mug. I like this high quality stuff. It really is just great stuff. She does great work over there. I'll link it down below. Uh, this is uh, Legend of Zelda. This was sent to me by one of my patrons, Steph, who is amazing, and I love her. And she knows how much I love The Legend of Zelda. I've been a Zelda fan since the original game. I have really bonded with my kids over it. We love playing it, and he wants that mug. I love Twin Peaks, guys. And I am quite guilty of saying that is a damn fine cup of coffee, like all of the time, if you'll pardon me saying so. So anytime I can... Uh, represent Twin Peaks, and uh, I'm, I'm all for that, definitely. Down here, we got my Tolkien stuff. Uh, this is uh, Not All Who Wonder or Lost, a quote from uh, from Lord of the Rings. But this is actually uh, from Great Wolf Lodge. We took the kids there last summer for vacation, and they had this mug in the gift shop, and I could not say no to it. With uh, anything with a Tolkien theme, I'm, I'm going to be very excited about Here, another one from Creatively Craft. She actually made this one as a thank you, because I, I showed some of her cup, cups in my videos, and she got a lot of sales, and she sent this one to, uh, to me as a thank you. Incredible, incredible work. The, that is actually, she actually put the, uh, the black speech on there. Now, this one here, what's unique about this one is when it gets hot, the actual one ring does show up right here. You know, it's a secret now that only coffee can tell. Really, really cool. Uh, the thing that uh, I really messed up with this mug on, guys, is be careful. Read the bottom of the mug because sometimes it'll say not dishwasher safe. And this is what happened. It started to fall apart because I ran it through the dishwasher one time. So, uh, yeah, always read the bottom of the mug. Only thing I like more than uh, Lord of the Rings is a little song of ice and fire. I got so much uh, stuff when HBO first announced the rights before the show even aired, I bought so much merch, and a lot of that was uh, the coffee mugs. So I got several Stark Cups. I got a Tully one for my wife because she took that test, and she did get House Tully. And uh, I always teach her about that. But she usually get that for hot chocolate, but then she kind of stopped using it, so I use it more than her now. What's cool about this one is when you fill it up with coffee, it, right here it will say winter is coming, and the whole mug turns white. So it's really cool, like winter is coming. But you know, when you got hot coffee in there, you know, it's great. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, all the all the Song of Ice and Fire stuff I'm a big fan of. This is from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, where uh, they're feeding Spike blood from the uh, from Giles' coffee mug. Uh, this is Giles, a librarian's coffee mug, and uh, Madison actually sent that one to me. Really, really awesome. Because I got her to watch Buffy. And that was her, her thank you. I don't recall who sent this one to me. This was sent from a viewer. And uh, it, what I like about this one is it's massive. You can fit a, a double in there with uh, no questions asked. It's not a problem to fit a double helping in there. Back up here to my Wheel of Time. I got this one right here, the Dusty Wheel. I did guest on the Dusty Wheel show. Matt had me on there as a guest way, way, way long time ago. And he did give me that mug as a thank you for coming on the show. And I was like, man, thank you. This is a lot of fun. That's why I was making my first run through the Wheel of Time. And uh, very, very cool of him to do that. This was actually from Iskar Jirak, who is like the authority on Malazan, on all of BookTube. He was the one, the first one I know that was a, a Malice tuber or whatever you want to call him, but uh, he sent me this and that's a really, really awesome, awesome mug. I want to put that on a t-shirt. Honestly, it's so cool. Uh, down here, a couple of the mugs that I have for the channel. This is the first one that I made when I first started Patreon. I wasn't crazy about that logo because I kind of just slapped it together real fast just to have something. And then a viewer actually had the artwork here commissioned for me. Really, really cool. And that's the one that I do now. So guys, if you, you want that, their Patreon link is down below if you want the mug. I only offer these mugs to uh, certain tiers of Patreon because I want my patrons to feel like they get something special. So I don't just outright sell these. So if you want one, there is a very, very easy way for you to get one. Uh, Harry Potter here. I got my cauldron with all four houses on it. The thing about this, guys, 
is I want to warn you against buying this one because it is hard to clean. You can't dishwash it. If you see right here the legs of the cauldron, you basically have to get like a pipe cleaner almost to clean it because it is very, very tough. So I, I think this one's become almost more ornamental to me than anything. But I uh, had to get me some, uh, some Harry Potter mug or something to kind of go away because if you can't tell, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I got tons of merch. And I wanted a nice mug and I couldn't say no to a nice cauldron up here by stephen king stuff this was another one from creatively crafts um it is my favorite stephen king book of all time second favorite book ever and she made this mug and it's just gorgeous with the ss georgie here on the front and yeah i just i mean it is such a special book and i love that mug i use it in almost every one of my into the multiverse reviews because i just love that mug so so much and this one is another one that madison got me after she read the stamp you can see a theme here madison's way of thanking me is sending me a coffee mug and she's never wrong it is weird because it's printed right on the front like that so i have to kind of turn it but if you've read the stand you understand the m-o-o-n that spells coffee that spells pretty much everything so yeah always down for some stephen king mugs if i can get one uh this one was from a viewer of the overlook hotel here and i haven't drank out of that i just think it's nice uh just it looks great with the stephen king stuff because believe it or not there's not a ton of actual official stephen king stuff out here so here's some personal stuff um wife sent this to me on our ninth our ninth wedding anniversary you know there's like themes for whatever that year is i, I guess that year was like porcelain or something like that so some of that uh, this is old this is from high school my high school graduation yes yes do the math I am not young, but uh, that was my high school. So I want to make sure that I always hold on to that. I don't even actually drink out of that. That's actually just kind of like a pencil cup. But I also keep my other education ones. I do drink out of my college one, which is Sam Houston State University. Go Bearcats. Sick them, cats. And uh, yeah, I, I love this mug. It's just a little small. You know, I like to I like to get a large coffee. And you can only fit like one cup in there. If you guys don't know, NASA is just a car ride away here in Houston. Big supporter of all things NASA, and I, I love this mug. I love the classic meatball logo, so that's always the NASA logo that I go for. And when I saw that on a mug with the stars, I said I couldn't say no. And of course, boo hiss, right? I know you guys love the Astros here on the channel. Well, I actually do love the Astros, and I don't care if you guys do not, because you know what? I got my second parade in five years, and I'm happy with listening to you guys whine about it. Uh, over here, uh, Sam Houston State, uh, uh, Sam Houston SFA State Park here in, in uh, just outside of Houston is where we took the kids for camping for uh, scouts later this year. And, of course, at the Alamo, got this Davy Crockett quote here. You may all go to hell. I'll go to Ke I will go to Texas. And uh, If you guys have know anything about the Alamo, basically, if you're outside of Texas, I don't know how many people know about the Alamo, but it's a big part of how Texas declared their independence from Mexico. And another thing here, the Battle of Gonzalez, uh, come and take it. Basically, the story behind this is they, they took this cannon and the opposing army said, give us our cannon back. And they said, yeah, do something about it. Come and take it, bro. And it should become like a big slogan. That's right up there with don't mess with Texas out here. Come and take it. It's kind of a big one. But that's my uh, my travel mug there. Uh, back up top, uh, you guys know I love me some Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is the first mug that Madison sent me. <laughs> Other people have sent me mugs. I just remember the ones that Madison sent me because it was all like perfect timing. What I love about this one is it, it's hot or cold. I drink tea out of that one a lot because it'll actually keep it keep it cold all day. I don't really keep my coffee long enough for it to uh, to get cold, except with this mug. And I'll explain. There's another one here from Creatively Crafts. If you guys haven't caught on yet, she does amazing work. And I hope you guys will go to her shop and buy stuff because she's got so many gorgeous mugs. What I don't like about this one is it's, it's so wide open, though. See, it's so so wide that the coffee does get cold rather quickly. So, uh, yeah, I usually don't even have gory damn good coffee out of it because it gets cold so quickly. Now, uh, I, people on my Discord love to use the Winnie the Pooh emoji. I'm sure they'll love this mug. Look, here's the thing with, uh, with the Winnie the Pooh mug. I mean, I loved Winnie the Pooh when I was younger. Honestly, uh, and Tigger, especially Tigger was everything. Tigger was, I mean, I love Tigger. I mean, I still love Tigger. Here's the thing is, I don't know if your parents were like my parents, but uh, they just have a hard time with accepting that you've grown up. So my mom was still buying me Winnie the Pooh stuff when, well, when I was old enough to drink coffee. So that's how that's how these happened here. But uh, you know what? They're gorgeous mugs. I don't feel like you're ever too old to remember your childhood. Uh, my wife actually made this after I got her into the Expanse television show. If you've seen that, you understand MCRN. Uh, Expanse is a great show, great books, and a great aesthetic. Honestly, I love that logo. It's it's so cool. Even though I would still be you know part of Earth, but you know here we are. This one has a funny joke behind it. Uh, patrons, uh, we had like a viewing party for Shadow and Bone because we thought it'd be a lot of fun. And Medic, uh, one of my homies over there, he, me and him had this joke about having this crush on Ben Barnes, and it just kind of stuck. And so Steph actually sent me this mug as well, uh, because we were, she, they just thought it was so hilarious that we were just all about Ben Barnes. But you know what? 
No regrets. He's a handsome man. He's a very, very handsome man. A uh, Jason Voorhees mug. Uh, I look. I love this mug, but it's very hard to drink out of with the handle there being the machete. It's very cool. It looks really cool, but it's really, really hard to drink out of. So I don't really use it very much unless I'm doing like you know spooky season stuff here on the channel. But uh, I joke with my kids. It's made out of blood. Uh, this was Cthulhu mug. It was actually custom from a, a viewer I haven't seen in a long time. Locky. I don't know if he's still around, but he sent me this. It's actually personalized. Uh, with my name on it, but he, uh, he 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 loves how much I am unabashedly a Lovecraft fan. I think obviously our, our Lord and Savior Cthulhu is very very important to me, and that's why I have two mugs. You know, uh, this one's pretty cool because it actually has the the wings on it. Yeah, love me some Cthulhu. Who doesn't? But uh, I think uh, the the one that Lockie sent me obviously is the superior mug, and that one doesn't have any handles on it, and the cup gets hot, so I don't really use it. So it's very much become like ornamental along with this one because it's too nice for me to drink out of. Uh, this one was my wife's. Uh, she she went to SFA college, but she would go to Rice to keep up her certifications, her teaching certifications. So she'll go to Rice because she doesn't want to drive five hours to do it. So she didn't actually go to Rice, but you know, there we go. That's why that's not dear to her. I got this when we went on our last cruise on Royal Caribbean. Very, very nice. I can't go on any vacation without adding a new mug. And then of course, uh, this one, <laughs> the Skull one was just one that I used to use uh, when I used to cosplay pirate stuff, it was a long time ago at RenFest. We used to do uh, cosplay as pirates before Pirates of the Caribbean blew up and everybody was doing it. You know, So we were doing it before. It was cool. And I don't know what else to do with that mug. Back up here, this is the last one you're going to see on here from Creatively Crafts. And this is the best mug she's made, in my opinion. Uh, the other ones, uh, like the Gory Dam uh, Good Coffee one, it has like a sticker. Uh, see, they're like they're like they're almost like stickers. I mean, they're they're, they're hard to come off, but this is like actually like baked in. It is amazing. It's the best stuff she's done, and uh, yeah, the fact that she's a first law fan makes her even more awesome. My kids and I obviously share the bond of Star Wars, and uh, this was this. I mean, it's it's not true, but you know the fact that they think it's true. That's what matters. You know that I could be the best dad in the galaxy, and he also got me uh, this Boba Fett mug. So, uh, yeah, Star Wars, I think my kids know always it's easy to get me uh, Star Wars or Lord of the Rings stuff. I'm, I'm probably going to be happy. This one was from a viewer way back when I first started the channel, and I talked about my Darth Vader mug broke, and he sent this one to me as a replacement, as like a condolence. And I thought that was very, very cool of him to do. I drink out of that one constantly. This is probably my most used mug. I usually leave this one up in my office. You know those people are like Star Trek or Star Wars? Not me, man. Uh, I'm all about them, but I love this mug. It's so, so awesome. You can get this on Amazon, guys. But I love this. I keep this one usually, like I said, up at my office because, you know, you'll get busy at work. You can put two coffees in here and be fine. And this mug keeps everything nice and warm. And obviously, who doesn't love... I mean, if you don't love Star Trek, I get it. But uh, I do. And I love that mug. Uh, this is another one from Steph. Uh, this one is very, very cool. It's very hard to drink out of, though, because of where the ears are placed. So I have kind of kept it kind of ornamental here with my Starship Enterprise because, uh, you know, it's the only logical thing to do, as one Spock would say. And uh, it's going to live long and prosper on my shelf here. Uh, Stranger Things. This was from a viewer who had said they were out on Stranger Things until I talked about how great it was. And then they caught the current season. They loved it so much. They wanted to send this to me as a thank you. I love the horn on there. And this book is, this, this cup is kind of like almost like the upside down because it looks small, but you can fit a 12 ounce coffee in there. It's really, really cool. I, lo I love that mug. It's, it's made out of like this weird, like ceramic material almost. I don't know. It's like otherworldly. I love it. It's such a cool mug. But that horn does get a little hot. So you got to be careful. Obviously, TARDIS, yes, it's bigger on the inside, just like the Star Trek one. It can keep two coffees in it. So I'll usually rotate that one, the Batman one, and the Star Trek one that are all the same size up at my office. And let's look at that. Uh, I got that Batman one over here somewhere. Uh, Star, Star Wars. Let's see more Star Wars ones first. I got uh, Mary Sithmas. Uh, this one I got just this year for Christmas. Everybody should have one good Christmas mug, I think. Yeah, same thing on both sides. But uh, they got this for me after Christmas, so I didn't get to use it very much this Christmas. But you know what? Sometimes it's Christmas in July. Another one that was uh, looked really good on paper, and then I got it. And it's very hard to drink out of because of how far you got to tip it over. And also, uh, the handle and the bottom get super, super hot. So uh, that's another one that I really will try to keep like for tea or something. You know, I, I don't really like to drink anything hot out of it for those reasons. But you know what? It looks very, very cool. And who doesn't love R2? Uh, down here's a couple of travel ones. Uh, in Mexico, we were in Cozumel. They had this shop where you could actually watch them. They'll, they'll, basically, you pick out the medallion here, and then they will actually make this mug for you while you were there. It was really, really cool. And it was like dirt cheap, honestly, for what they were doing. So, uh, yeah, really, really cool stuff. If you guys have a chance to 
go with Cozumel. I, I say do it. Guys, get a chance to go to Jamaica. We've been to Jamaica three times, guys. I love it. It might be my favorite place not named the United States on Earth because it is just such a beautiful island. I think the water is amazing. But this mug is just high quality. We got this at Sandals, Montego Bay. And I just I love the quality of this mug. It's just... It's so well put together, and it has a. It just does a great job of keeping your coffee warm. Got this when I donated to the uh, Texas Army National Guard, and uh, you know, it's always something that I like to support. I am a big supporter of the Army, the Navy, Air Force, and the Marines, our, all of our armed forces here in America. Down here, we got my some of my uh, old sports travel mugs. Uh, I don't really drink coffee in the mornings anymore. I, I wait till I get to the office because I don't want to have to carry two cups into work or wash two cups so I just keep my regular mug at the office and I just you know I'll just I'll just I'll just tough it out for the hour before I get to work in the morning so this uh was one that was given to me because uh when my my I had a Doberman for about 13 years and when she passed away my mom bought this for me because she looks so much like my my Doberman that I had forever Cleo and I love that dog so much I miss that dog so much so much she's been gone for like eight years now but uh yeah I I, I miss that dog that's all I'll say about it so uh yeah, yeah. Let's move up here. Uh, here's the Batman one. Uh, put it with my DC comic stuff. Uh, obviously, Batman is that dude. And again, I like the size and shape of these mugs uh, because, like I said, they hold so much coffee and they hold the warmth really well. A good old Captain America mug. I use this one usually for tea because whenever my Keurig makes tea, it spits the water everywhere. So I got this wide mug for that purpose here. And we got the we got the shield on one side and the armor on the other. And uh, that's like my my Fourth of July mug right there and my, my labor day mug anything repping the good old us of a and I, my most recent mug i got this green lantern one when we did go to six flags and i was sick as a dog and i said you know what this is going to be my gift to myself because i've never found a green lantern mug anywhere i wish it did have like the the quote on the other side you know the the, the oath but you know what you do with what you can but i'm uh, happy to get that i think that's that's pretty much it. No, wait, there's one more up top. I've got the Dresden Files, one that my wife made me. Fuego. It's really my, my bookmark holder. Uh, clearly, I don't drink out of it, but she made me that one when I was saying Fuego all the time while reading Dresden Files. And she was like, why are you saying fire in Spanish so much? And so she made that for me. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I Again, I don't know why this is something people wanted to see, but I hope it was entertaining for you as it was for me. So there you have it, guys. That is my coffee mug collection. So remember, guys and gals, next time your wife says, hey, no more of blank, you can always switch to a different hobby and say, you didn't say I couldn't. So there you go. I will not be held responsible if you get in trouble with your spouse. That is just my advice. So guys, uh, do you like any of these mugs? Why don't you tell me which one you like the best or whatever it is that you guys wanted out of this video. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't give it to you. So uh, drop in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you there.